In this lesson, we are going to practice solution of few questions for perfection of our understanding about cube roots of 1. Let's get started with question number 1. Here we are required to prove, so to prove, to prove that x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y time x plus omega y time x plus omega square y. Let's consider right hand side. So right hand side We'll take right hand side and upon expansion we'll show that this is equal to left hand side. So right hand side is x plus y time x plus omega y x plus omega square y. For performing multiplication we are going to use these brackets here and we will multiply x with the third factor x plus omega square y and then we will multiply omega y with the third factor x plus omega square y and now x plus y time x square plus omega square x y omega square x y plus omega y time x will be omega time x y plus omega cube time y square. So this way if we continue to keep x plus y outside and here x square and inside plus if we take common x y and here will be omega plus omega square plus omega cube is equal to 1 because that is we know from the properties of the cube roots of unity that omega cube is equal to 1 therefore this is y square and we have x plus y time x square plus x y time minus 1 because that is also from the properties of the cube roots of unity that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to minus 1. If that is the case then omega plus omega square uh, that is equal to 0. So this is omega plus omega square is equal to minus 1 plus y square. So here we get x plus y time x square minus xy plus y square and this is the formula from algebra that x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y time x square minus x y plus y square. So if we use that formula this becomes equal to x cube plus y cube. So now let's do exercise number two. Exercise two. In here we have to to prove. To prove is that minus one plus negative three square root power four plus negative one minus negative 3 square root power 4 is equal to minus 16. So let's consider left hand side this time. Left hand side is equal to 
minus 1 plus negative 3 square root power 4. But if we divide this thing by 2 and then multiply it with 2 as well, that doesn't make any difference. Plus, similarly, 2 times minus 1 minus negative 3 square root divided by 2 power 4. See, on the left hand side, we haven't made any change in the value because if you multiply and divide by 2, that doesn't change the value. So here, this will be equal to 2 times minus 1 plus under root uh, uh, negative 3 divided by 2, that is omega. If you remember from the properties of cube roots of unity, we named it omega as omega equal to minus 1 plus negative 3 square root divided by 2 and in the same place we proved that omega square is equal to minus 1 minus negative 3 square root divided by 2. So here if this is omega power 4 plus 2 time this will be omega square and that will be power 4 as well. So here we got 2 power 4 time omega 4 into this will be plus 2 power 4 time omega 8. So this is equal to 2 power 4 can be taken common and inside omega 4 plus omega 8 omega 4 can be written as 2 power 4 time omega cube time omega plus omega 6 which is multiple of the power of 3 time omega square so here we will get 2 power 4 time omega cube is we know that omega cube is equal to 1 because in the properties we have proved that product of the cube roots of unity is equal to 1. So this is 1 time omega plus omega scale, uh, cube power 2 time omega square this is equal to 16 time omega plus 1 time 1 power 2 time omega square means this is 16 time omega plus omega square which is equal to minus 1 so this is 16 time minus 1 equal to minus 16 that is what we were required to prove for exercise 3 exercise 3 we are going to evaluate the value of to evaluate to evaluate 1 plus omega minus omega square power 8 we have this equal to minus omega square minus omega square power 8. The reason being 1 plus omega plus omega square sum of cube roots of unity is equal to 0. This means 1 plus omega is equal to minus omega square. That's the property we have used here. And this will become minus 2 omega square power 8 and because negative has power even, it doesn't make any difference. The answer will be positive anyways. So this will be 2 power 8 into omega square power 8. This is 256 time omega 16, which is 256 time omega 15 time omega Omega 15 is 
the 15 is a multiple of 3 so this will be 256 omega q power 5 time omega is equal to 256 1 power 5 time omega means the answer is 256 omega that is the value of the given expression and for exercise 4 for exercise 4 we have omega 28 plus omega 29 plus 1 and this will be equal to omega 27 time omega plus omega 27 time omega square plus 1 omega 27 is multiple of 3 so this is equal to omega cube power 9 time omega plus omega cube power 9 time omega square plus 1 and here we have 1 time omega plus 1 time omega square plus 1 means 1 plus omega plus omega square which is equal to 0 because we know that sum of cube roots of unity is equal to 0 from properties of the cube roots of unity. Now the last question exercise 5 that is 1 plus omega minus omega square into 1 minus omega plus omega square this is we have to evaluate and this will be equal to if we put value of 1 plus omega here that will be equal to minus omega square minus omega square into if we rearrange this as 1 plus omega square minus omega and we substitute the value of this from 1 plus omega plus omega square equal to 0 this will be equal to minus 2 omega square time minus omega so this will be overall minus 2 omega for the same reason as we did in factor number 1 so this would be minus 2 times minus 2 would be equal to 4 4 times omega square time omega that is equal to 4 times omega cube that is equal to 1 so 4 times 1 is equal to 4 see from properties of the cube roots of unity we are uh, we have solved many questions regarding the properties of cube roots of unity so the answer is 4